Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be answering questions from the Get To Know Me tag. So today I am going to be answering 30 questions about me from the Get To Know Me tag. I do videos on hair, beauty, inspiration, and blogging. So if you are not subscribed, come on. I would absolutely love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Now let's go ahead and get into these 30 questions. So the first question, what is your name? My name is Deanna. I go by D from my family and friends who know me. Um, so those of you who are subscribed to this channel, you are family, so just go ahead and call me D. Second question, where are you from? Born and raised in Michigan. Um, lived in a few other different states for school and internships, but for the most part, I've been in Michigan my whole life, always found my way back here. What do you do for a living? So I am a business owner. There are details that go into that, so I will talk about that a little bit more in future videos. Education, I got my undergraduate degree in sociology with a minor in theater performance. Um, I got my graduate degree in business management and leadership. So it's pretty fitting for me being a business owner now. Favorite color, my favorite color is royal blue, um, which was a part of my wedding colors. My wedding colors were royal blue, white, and silver. Favorite music genre. My favorite music genres, see, I can't just really pick one. I would have to say Christian, gospel, and R&B and pop. I know that's kind of a lot, but you know, those are songs from those genres that play heavily on my playlist when I'm riding in my car. So yeah, it's hard to just choose one. Favorite food. You know, I really love sushi. I remember I was so scared to try sushi at first because, you know, people kind of freaked me out. They were like, oh, sushi, raw fish and all this stuff. But when I finally tried it, it was like, dude, like I love sushi. So I like the sushi with the fried shrimp tempura inside and crispy on the outside. It is so good. Speaking of crispy food, probably a very close second, if not neck and neck to that would be fried chicken. Okay, so I know some of y'all are like, oh, she had to be a stereotype. Listen, there's nothing wrong with certain stereotypes. I love my fried chicken, especially lemon pepper fried chicken. Dude, yeah. Are you married or single? I'm married, I got married in 2016. Very happily married. Do you have children? No, not yet. Um, hopefully we'll have children soon, but that is something that we're praying about, um, to go ahead and get pregnant and have children in God's timing. Um, how many children do you want? Two from the womb. We're actually thinking about adopting, whether it's from the outside or within the family. And I could talk more about that in future videos. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have five sisters and I have two brothers. So I grew up with a very big family. Um, I'm next to the youngest. I have a younger brother who's one year younger than me. I come from a really huge family and we were always loud. We laughed loud. And sometimes even my la loud laugh now, I have to try to tone it down because it's one of those laughs you don't expect to be so loud. And it's like, like, I'm glad you're having a good time, but chick, you scared me. I have a sister. <laughs> She's a hoot. She literally screams when she laughs. And it just scares everybody. People are like, what happened? So, yeah, very loud, big, fun family. How tall are you? I am 5'7", although people usually think I'm a lot taller because I have long legs and I'm really thin. But no, if you ever see me out in public, I'm only 5'7". <laughs> have you ever, and the second part of that question is, have you ever dreamed of being taller? No, not taller than 5'7". You know, growing up, being tall was already hard enough for me as it is because, you know, tall just wasn't the it thing, especially like being tall, dark skin, and skinny growing up. It was just like, I had three things against me when it came to the guys. 
because it was all about being short, light skinned and thick. So yeah, but now how I am, I am so happy to be the way I am. And I'm not just saying that as a cliche, oh, be happy with how you are. I've really learned to come into my own of who I am um, as a woman. So yeah, I wouldn't change anything, honestly. What is your favorite number and why? My favorite number is the number eight, which was why I wanted to get married in August. And the number eight is new beginning. So yeah, that is my favorite number. Can you describe yourself in just three words? Yeah, um, so honest, and I am probably almost honest to a fault. You know, some people are just like, they look at me sometimes like, really, do you have to be that honest? But I'm really nice about it. But if you ask me something and you really want the honest answer, I'm gonna give you the honest answer. I might give it to you in a, in a very nice way, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Ugh, the second one, I'm very goofy. Um, I laugh a whole lot. You know, I come from a big family where we were just so goofy and our sense of humor is basically what kept us going. I would describe myself also as very giving and again, this is something that could be considered good, but to a fault because I have been taken advantage of in the past. Pet peeves, people who don't have integrity. You know, if you tell me that you're gonna do something, do it. If you tell me that we're gonna meet somewhere at a certain time, be there at that time. That is like a huge pet peeve for me. What inspires you? I would say seeing successful people who are hustling, you know, they're grinding every day and you know they're making big waves in the world what has required the most courage of you in your life so far i would definitely say starting my own business um it's hard because there are so many uncertainties it was scary you know starting my own business but i am so glad i did who is your favorite actor man i would definitely have to like it's hard to choose because i watch this is us and I look at Justin Hartley, Sterling Brown, Milo, and I just love all of them. So if I had to choose, I would say all three of them are my favorite actors, hands down. Who is your favorite actress? I would say Sandra Bullock. I love her in The Blind Side. Taraji P. Henson. Oh my gosh, I've seen so many movies with her. She's just such a great, versatile actress. So yeah, I would have to say those two are my favorite. Favorite TV show? Oh, I kind of gave it away in my previous question, but This Is Us. Like, I love that show. I mean, there's so much therapy in that show. The actors are phenomenal. It relates so much to real life. And I think most people who watch that show, you can see yourself in somebody's relationship or somebody's life. So um, it's definitely a very interesting, relatable show. What is your favorite childhood memory? I would have to say going to Summit Place Mall here in Michigan. Um, pretty much every weekend we went to that mall and my parents would give us an allowance and we would go into KB Toys and we would buy toys. But What's really sad and unfortunate is that they're tearing that mall down within the next couple of months. And I mean, I just like, oh, I'm heartbroken, you know, because all of my childhood memories were there. Favorite holiday, hands down Christmas. I love Christmas. I love the smell of baked goods in the oven, you know, Christmas trees, lighting, decorations, you know, being cozy by the fireplace. More importantly, I know that during that time of year, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And I know that he probably wasn't born on Christmas day. You know, you hear this so much when you talk about celebrating Christmas. I celebrate Jesus all the time, but I don't see anything wrong with paying attention to him on Christmas day too. What is your favorite type of clothing? I would definitely say leggings. I love being comfortable, but when I want to spruce it up a little bit more, I love wearing a really cutesy feminine dress. What is your favorite way to pass time? When I'm not working and being productive, I do like watching Hulu, Amazon Prime, YouTube, 
Yeah, TV, <laughs> which is also a weakness of mine. I like watching TV, but I don't do it as much as I used to. What is your favorite social media channel? I don't really have a favorite social media channel. I really like um, Adana David. I like Patricia Bright. Beauty Pie, Beauty Pie, Beauty Pie. Um, what was your favorite subject in high school? So I actually had two that were pretty much neck and neck. I loved English and because I love writing and I loved math. Like math was fun. What was your least favorite subject in high school? History. And looking back, I'm glad that history was my least favorite subject because now that I'm learning a lot about real history and some things that we learned growing up that weren't really true, I'm really glad that I'm learning true history. So now I have much more um, of an interest and appreciation for history. Where have you traveled? I have not been abroad yet. I gotta get abroad, you know? So yeah, I been to Florida, Washington DC, just mainly a lot of uh, different states on the East Coast. Haven't even been on the West Coast yet. Man, I gotta get around more. What would surprise people the most about you? The fact that I'm actually pretty introverted. Although when I go out to social gatherings, you know, people usually think I'm extroverted because I talk to a lot of people and I interact with them pretty well for an introvert. <laughs> 30, name three interesting facts about you. So kind of relating back to that introverted um, aspect. I grew up really shy and I remember, you know, growing up in junior high and high school when I would have a question or if the teacher would ask the class a question, I was always scared to raise my hand because I didn't want people to hear me talk. Because when I was in junior high school, I got teased a lot whenever I would talk because I sounded like this. When I was a kid, I, I sounded like this and people were wondering like, why is her voice so heavy? My mom has a really heavy voice, so I took after her. Promise I was born a woman, um, but you know, it's just that I got a heavy voice for some reason. So yeah, I used to feel embarrassed to talk in class because I didn't, the kids used to call me Debo because they were like, oh, her voice is so deep, Debo. So it was embarrassing being picked on and made fun of. So that kind of affected my self-esteem and how I spoke up. So second fun fact is I was an extra in a movie called Real Steel with Hugh Jackman, very nice guy. I actually had a brief conversation with him by the trailer. Um, and, you know, speaking of the whole voice thing, you know, he asked me, he's like, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm good, how are you? He's like, oh, fine. He was like, wow, you have such a lovely voice. And I was like, thank you. You know, because it was quite the opposite of what I heard my whole life growing up. He asked me, he's like, do you sing? He was like, yeah, I can tell. You have a really lovely voice. So that made me really happy. Very nice guy. Shout out to Hugh Jackman. If you haven't seen Real Steel, go check it out. You might see me walking around somewhere. So the last fun fact about me is that I had over 80 different jobs before the age of 30. There were jobs anywhere from retail, corporate, temp jobs, and I would work there anywhere from one day to a few years. I would have multiple jobs at one time, sometimes even up to four jobs at once. So I've always kind of been a hustler and a hard worker. So those are all the questions about me. This video went kind of long, but I think it's important if we're gonna continue on this journey together that you get to know me a little bit more. And I love to get to know you a little bit more. Leave a comment below. We're still doing the contest for whoever has the best question or comment, you will win iron pills. Um, so I am going to be announcing the winner within the next uh, two weeks. So go ahead, leave your questions and comments below or send them to inspirationstationyt at gmail.com. Until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to talking to you all again more. Have a blessed day. I love you. Bye.